All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys and show you guys how to play Shen in the top lane. Now, for the best wins for Shen, uh, in about 95% of all matchups, uh, the best wins for Shen is Grasp, uh, Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. Now, a couple of things to note. Uh, when you play against a ranged matchup, typically you don't really get to like use Grasp that much, and that's where you usually want to go for Fleets. Um, but in this case, I'm, I want to showcase the Grasp setup because that's what you're going for with like 95% of all matchups. So, Oh, that guy is pretty smart. Oh, nice. So yeah, typically for the starter item, you could go for a Dorn's Blade as a uh, starter one. But if you play against a ranged matchup, I would also suggest going for a Dorn Shield so you can tank up most of the damage. Now, lastly, in terms of like the build, I'm going to place that down inside of the description below the YouTube video, guys. So if you want to see the entire build, definitely make sure to check that out. But yeah, typically this matchup, uh, it's uh, a pretty bad one for us, I would say. Uh, Shen against Uri God is a matchup that you don't really want to be in. But there's a couple good things about this matchup and there's a few bad things. Now, Urga, technically, if he plays it very flawlessly, uh, he should be able to win. But here comes the big one. If we get a lot of jungle ganks, then we can set up some crazy, crazy ganks with my E and get a lot of kills early. So it kind of depends on like how Urga's going to play it out. But it also kind of depends on how my jungler is going to play it out. So yeah, we're just going to have to see. But yeah, generally, like, the way how this matchup works is you simply don't want to get caught into Urgot's E, and you should be good to go. I think we might be getting a gank by Rexa right now, so I'm going to save up my E. Actually, I'm not very sure he's actually going back to the river. Hmm. Alright. We're going to miss a few CS, unfortunately. Gonna have to accept that we might miss a few. Hmm. We got Rek'Sai currently. He might come in for a gank. And I think that Urgot is pretty well. I think he knows. Good. This is gonna be a free kill. I'm gonna pop my potion right here. Nice. Oh, that's um. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. That was an insanely good roam by the mid lane that was a really good one because not only did he get a roam off but he also got a kill in the mid lane too which is really good all right now we're just gonna have to slow push this wave into the tower i'm saying like a slow push because i think if i push this one too hard it's probably gonna freeze out like directly in front of the turret and i don't want that to happen right so i'm just gonna hard slow push it nice Whenever you want to go back to base or you have like an advantage, make sure you always reset the lane and not keep it in a bad spot because that's gonna... It's gonna come back to you. A smart player knows how to... Uh, what to do when a wave crashes inside of that turret or like close to it, I mean. Now we go back to base. Uh, typically the first item that I always recommend, especially against like Nurgot, is... Uh, going to be steel caps. Our wills Always rush boots when you play against these specific matchups. Now, one thing I have to mention as well. Uh, usually when you play top lane with Chen, uh, you want to play like with Ignite. Specifically Ignite in 95% of the matchups. Now, one thing I have to say. If you play against like something like an Ur God or... A matchup which is extremely difficult for you. Uh, that's when I would recommend teleport instead. So yeah, typically it's going to be ignite all day, but for the majority of the time, um, when you play against something like Uri God, you're going to have to go TP. It's going to be better for you. Ignite is one of the greatest summoner spells on Shen because it gives him like kill pressure. But if you can't use it, I would go for TP. Like that's typically how you. Uh, how you want to think about it. Yeah, we can't really trade this guy at all. Because if we go for a dash in, right? Or we get like an auto off. He's going to he's gonna come back to us. And 
Um, hit his E. So we're just going to have to fully rely on just playing safe for now. Uh, Rek'Sai is coming top, though. Mm, don't get that one, unfortunately. It is what it is. We're getting a gank by Rek'Sai right now, so we're, we're about to get a catch. Ooh, good. And this is where he goes down. Nice. Honestly, I would have been very happy if I actually give the kill to Rek'Sai. That was actually going to be my... Uh, that was actually going to be my plan. Usually when I play Shen, I don't really want to get the kills too much. Typically, what I always want to do is give like as many kills away as possible. Because Shen is not necessarily a champion, which is going, going to 1v9 if you have like a lot of kills. Like usually you just want to give them away to your teammates, right? Especially when you have like a Rek'Sai jungle. Uh, usually that's what you want to do, but whatever. Nice. I want to try to fight this guy, honestly, but I can't. That's the problem. He probably, he's probably going to cure me here at some point. I think we might actually get like another gank by, uh, by Rex as soon. Good. Like a nice dash off. And some damage. Alright, we're going to go back again. Seems like my teammates are playing it pretty well right now, actually. I think we can probably kill him again. Wait, hold on a second. Yep. We can kill him again. Yep. Oh, whoops. I messed up my W. That was not what I intended to do. Now, most importantly, guys, uh, one thing I want to mention uh, when you play Shen, the most ex most important thing, like literally 99% of every single player that plays Shen plays it wrong. Uh, let me explain. <clears throat> nice. We got that one. So... Important lesson for all Shen players, like 99% does it wrong. Guys, if you play Shen, um, hold the pressure and then ult, all right? If you have like Urgot, I'll say it now. If you have Urgot pushing down the lane towards you, and let's say that the wave is right here next to your turret, do not at all cost ever press your ult because if you do, you're going to lose so much farm you're gonna lose so many plates you're gonna lose everything right unless you have your tp up that's an exception but most of the time if you're going to use your ultimate hold the pressure like actually have the wave being pushed in so you don't lose as much right this is extremely important so only do this like only ult from here if you actually have your teleport because otherwise it's it's going to be very very pointless for you all right i see like so many shen players doing that wrong is insane. I like, I played against so many Shens in my life, guys, and I always won my lane super hard because of the Shen messing up this part of the game. It's absolutely ridiculous. The amount of people that do it wrong. No, this guy's dead. Yep. I'll give the kill to Rek'Sai. That's gonna be very important for me. I could actually try to kill Jinx here. I could not. Nah, actually, never mind. I can't. Never mind. I'm, I'm kidding around. Or maybe I could. Actually, I actually want Rexa to push this in because I'm going to roam ball lane. Alright, here we go. I don't have my dash yet. Mm. Mm, we can still kill him. Nice. Oh, you're dead. I actually want to save him. I thought he was going to die here, but he flashed. Smart. Uh, we can't really stop him. Let's go back to base right now. But yeah, as you can see, like, we actually have a very smart jungler. Um, once again, like, a couple things to explain. Let me sell that one. So yeah, once again, one thing that I want to explain about Shen, 
Um, if you're in a matchup like Urgot, you have to play safe. Like, honestly, there isn't really much you can do against Urgot unless he plays really bad. Um, generally, the only thing that you can rely on is having, like, a, a pressure in lane and actually having, like, an active jungler. Shen is one of the best top laners in terms of getting and setting up ganks, right? So... If you have that perfect duo queue partner or whatever, or you have that perfect jungler, like your dream jungler, and you play Shen, you're in a good spot. Like the, the dash of Shen makes it so perfect for your jungler to do stuff. And that's exactly about like that's exactly what we have in this game. Like we actually have a Rek'Sai, which is constantly ganking top, we're constantly getting kills on Urgot. And um we're constantly like setting up those ganks for Rek'Sai, right? Like all this time, I'm just forcing Urgot to like have like the uh, the way frozen here, which means that Rek'Sai could just walk in and get like free kills, right? If I wouldn't play like this, I would probably not have had like so many kills so far. Probably not. Uh, let's place a ward down over here. Actually, Nunu is bot lane, but I'm not sure where mid lane is. Oh, she's just showing up. All right. Cool. Let's push this one. Urgot is very scared right now uh, because he probably thinks that a Rek'Sai is nearby because of the amount of times that he came top. Now, believe it or not, but Urgot is still very strong. He could still beat us if he wants to. So we're going to still have to play it safely. But somewhat soon is when things will like turn around. Just going to hop push this one too. Ooh, didn't, didn't land unfortunately. We're like 100 gold away from getting my item. And my ultimate's coming back now too. So you want to start having a push. Which I don't think he's going to give us, but... Hmm, should have used my Q just a bit sooner for the shield. My bad. Should have played that, uh, should have played, like, slightly different. Ooh, Rexa is coming top again. Right in the perfect spot. Okay, this guy's dead. He must flash. Good. I got my ultimate already too. I don't think that we can catch him. Oh, we can. He turned around. I had no dash, so he could have ran. He could have did it. Now, one thing I also want to mention about Shen, like this, um, this champion is easy to play, but it's complicated. Like, I, I'd say that Shen Top is probably one of the most complicated champions in the game in terms of, like, macro-wise because of the ultimate. Uh, let me get this one real quick. Now, one tiny thing I want to mention. Uh, I probably could save him. No. I tried saving him, but it wasn't possible, unfortunately. But yeah, I'd say, like, Shen is probably one of the best... Uh, kind of like tanky champions to like carry with currently in ranked. But one thing I do want to mention. Um, actually. Okay, sure. You know what we could do? We could go for this. But Shen is definitely one of the most complicated champions in the game. Because not only do you have to focus specifically on the macro way of the game. Because that's how it works. Uh, but... You also have to take care of your ultimate using it on the exact right time whenever your teammates need it, right? Now, for those people that never play Shen in life, you have those HP bars right here, which you can use to ult, so... For the people that never, you know, notice it. Okay, I still have my dash. This guy's dead. We're having so many kills right now. We're having a good time. And we got Sunfire. Now, personally, I can't wait to buy uh, Titanic right now. I can't wait to buy it.
There's a fight currently in the jungle with Nunu. Nice. Now we can get this turret too. I'm gonna help him out. If I come in, they're gonna be. They should be fine. No, never mind. Man, that Rex is huge as well. Like this guy got so many kills after all of these gangs, right? Press on. He's not gonna try. I was actually expecting like a flash from him or something like that, but my teammates are coming in, so I'm gonna go in. Oh, I missed the flash. Whoops, my bad. I actually want to hit Jinx with this. My bad. Hmm. Hey, yeah, this guy's in trouble. I've got my ultimate ready right now. I'm gonna take it up. Hmm. I've got my ultimate ready for for Nico, but I was thinking of everything else. Unfortunately, Rek'Sai goes down. I could have maybe played it like slightly different and like actually saved him. That was uh, a misplay from me. It is what it is. All right. Now I can go back to base again. So I go. So we're gonna go with Team at this time. I'd say that this is probably one of the most important items for Shen right now. Um, because, let me quickly buy this one. If you combine Sunfire together with Tiamat, what it does is it gives you the wave clear which you are missing with Shen. Like, Shen's wave clear is one of the worst in the entire game, right? You don't really have any ability that's going to help you out with the wave clear. And the best solution to that is by going for Sunfire, which gives you the, um the wave clear but also combining uh combining it with tiamat as well which we're eventually going to going to upgrade into titanic hydra right that's going to fix the issue of the wave clear which will make shen a lot more viable as a champion like even with these items together it's it's still super slow right but imagine if we didn't have those items it would have been way worse actually hmm Time to set something up. Don't want this guy to actually die there. Good. We can take this guy down. Or maybe not. Hmm. Still have my dash. Good. More catches for us. Now we can actually push mid lane. Rex, I can take the, the Herald, which it's going to be hard to do. It's like 19 minutes right now. Nice. Another tower. Let's get uh, this one. Actually, we don't. Never mind. No more camp over there. We're going to go back to base right now. Uh, our item right now is going to be Titanic Hydra. And afterwards, um, let's get that. Let's go to red. Actually, no, we're not going to get that one. But afterwards, the our next item is probably going to be something that makes us really tanky. I'm thinking about like a Thor mill. Um, but we could also build like magic resist. Kind of depends. Kind of depends on like what they're... Uh, what they're picking, of course. I like to go for Thormel in this case because they have Urigot and they have Jinx. We can build some MR later. I th I'm actually going to go ball in. I should have been, uh, been passing towards ball in sooner, but I was, uh, you know, talking about items. <laughs> Let's go down here. Would have been way better if I was here. Like earlier, but whatever. Good. Man, Titanic Hydra is like the best item on Shen ever. If you're especially if you're having like loads of kills, this is where this item is gonna shine. It's gonna make things so much better. 
Farming is the so easy to do right now. Nice. We've got my Rek'Sai here as well. So if they try to fight me, then I'm going to be fine anyways. This guy doesn't do any damage. Look at my damage. Look at my autos. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do right now. Let's see if she comes close enough. Hmm, he's not going to pass. I got him. Hmm. I don't want to press my R specifically on him. Hmm. Alright. I actually didn't want to press my R on, uh, on Thresh. But instead, I wanted to walk in because I wanted to try to set something up for Nico. Like, that's originally what my plan was. But instead of, you know, we went in, but Nico went out. And I wasn't quite sure if her ultimate was up. I wasn't quite sure. Because I think if Nico's ultimate was up, I think we could have probably had, like, loads of kills there, honestly. I think we could have probably killed all of these guys. But I had to recheck that one. I, I didn't actually notice if it was up. I thought it was up. But, um... Whatever. Is what it is. I actually want to TP this one. We can make something happen here. Their Urgot is currently in ball lane. Didn't hit that one. Hmm. What the rush? Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. This one is also ours. Hmm. That, that one's going away, unfortunately. Oh, I could have ulted that one. The note is that one. Okay. We shouldn't be taking this one. We do have Rek'Sai coming, but he, he needs time to come over. Hmm, not very happy with these fights, to be honest. Could have been played a lot more clean. Back to farming. Alright. Next wave's gonna arrive too. We got my team with me here. I actually want to try to take the entire turret with my demolish. Perfect. All of these guys are still mid lane, so we can push. We can push even more. Oh. Hmm. I used my ultimate specifically on the time when uh, when Orianna hit the ultimate on my jungler to try and 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 stop her from potentially like hitting like killing my jungler in like one ultimate right it played out perfectly it played that that part was being played in perfection but i wonder what would have happened i think we could have probably killed killed them again I, i'm pretty sure because it was only oriana and the other guy I think that Rex I could have probably killed these guys. Because of my perfect timing, but I don't think he expected it. Alright, Drake is here. We're gonna have to get there. This one's gonna have to come down to the this team fight is very important. If we lose this one, it's looking bad. If we win this one, then we will get a Drake with it along with it as well. Hmm. They have a very, very strong team. Okay, we got this one. I don't think they're going to walk up for it. It's just that... Uh, it's not the most useful Drake. Oh, wow. That did, like, no damage. I'm 
I'll give that to my teammate. We're not taking kills anymore. Got another one. Just, I actually, oh, she managed to get away. Okay. Uh, she's walking this way. So maybe we could maybe no nah, never mind she actually went the other way sure would have been way better if my team actually went barren could have had that right now nice we could take one more camp and then we can go back I cannot wait to reach level 16. My ultimate's going to be great then. Now I can buy Thormil. We're going to come back with Thormil. Um, our next item. I was thinking about getting even more armor. Uh, getting like randoins. But we could also go for Spirit Visage. Uh, specifically against Orianna. Uh, that would be... Or we could also go for Abyssal Mask, which is also a pretty good one. Personally, I'm thinking about just going for Spirit Passage, and I got a reason for that. Abyssal Mask is really good. This item is perfect. It has so many good things, right? Um, but I like the ability on Spirit Passage. And, like, the, the, the healing and everything. It's perfect against Orianna. They both worked really well. Plenty of options that we have. So Abyssal Mask, you have Spirit Visage. You also have Wit's End, which is like an option as well. So it kind of depends. All right. Let's see if we can go for another fight. I want to try to hit like all opponents with my dash. Hold on a second. Hmm. All right. Nah, I'm not going to try. Or. Oh, <laughs> I try to get like the perfect one off. Oh, I gotta get my Q here. I messed up my W. Hmm. You can go in. Yep. That's probably going to be the game here. Probably. We have about 20 seconds. But yeah, like typically after you make it towards like the mid game with Shen, there's like multiple builds you have. Um, typically, this is what you always build every single game. Uh, once you make it this far and you need like a lot of magic resist, you can also take Wit's End, which is an extremely good item as well, or Abyssal Mask. All right, cool. Now, one more thing, guys. Let's see uh, how much damage we've done. Let's take a look. You know, keep in mind, we're playing Shen. We have the Titanic build, which provides, you know, HP, damage, all these kind of things, wave clear. I think that we probably did like, I don't know, probably like 50k damage. I don't think it's that much because we weren't like trading Urgot as much. So this is going to come as a surprise. Let's uh take a look. Yeah, 14.5k damage. Also, these were the runes that we used, guys. Now, one more thing. Before this entire YouTube video ends, um, this game is being played live, guys. If you want to see me play live, make sure to check out the link below the YouTube video, guys. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.